You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, Bold and the Beautiful fans. Given that Ridge Forrester's love life is a hot topic of conversation because it looks like he's finally going to make a decision about one of these ladies and that pact between Taylor and Brooke to be best friends is about to burst wide open, we wanted to talk today about who is really Ridge Forrester's soulmate among everyone he's been in love with, everyone he's married over the years. We want to dig in and talk about that. However, if you haven't already, reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Bold and the Beautiful spoilers, casting news, all the good stuff you need to be ready to watch B&B. All right, so we're going to talk about who is Ridge's soulmate. The first two ladies we want to talk about are kind of bookends, and it's bizarre, and it's very soapy, and that is Caroline Spencer, the older, and Caroline Spencer, the younger, because Ridge was married to both an aunt and her niece, who was her namesake. Both of those women quite a few years apart and two different actors in Ridge at the time that that happened. And he has also, of course, been married to Taylor Hayes and Brooke Logan and had other loves in his life. But we're going to dig deep into this. We're going to start with the first Caroline Spencer, who was played by Joanna Johnson. This was back in the 1990s. And it was just totally different. If you don't remember Caroline Spencer, she was Bill Spencer's, Bill Spencer Jr., who was played by Don Diamond, Bill Spencer Jr.'s half-sister. Her dad, Bill Spencer Sr., disapproved of her love for Ridge Forrester. And Brooke was at first Caroline's friend, but then later conspired to try and keep Caroline and Ridge apart when they had fallen in love with each other. She was pushing Caroline at Thorn Forrester. She was doing everything she could. But then Caroline was able to turn the tables on Brooke and she got back with Ridge, the man she loved, and they got married. But then she found out she had advanced leukemia. By the way, this was back when Ron Moss was in the role of Ridge Forrester. So she had advanced leukemia and her doctor was Taylor Hayes. Back then, Taylor was an oncologist. And then I don't know if she was also a psychiatrist at the time, or then she later got that degree to be a psychiatrist. But at this time on B&B, she was a newer character and she was her cancer doctor. And the bottom line was there just wasn't a treatment that was going to save Caroline's life. At first, she tried to keep it secret from Ridge, but then, of course, it all came out. She threw one last party, and then she died in her husband Ridge Forster's arms in 1990. So he adored Caroline, and he was not in deep with Brooke at that point. He'd not been married to Brooke yet. They did have some dalliance, but boy, did he really love Caroline. And then he fell for her namesake niece many years later in 2015. That was 25 years later. And this, of course, was by the time that Torsten Kay had been recast in the role. So there was so much with them that was super sweet. So Caroline Spencer II, um, she fell in between two of Ridge's weddings to Brooke, just to give you some perspective on when this was, and it was 2015. So before falling for Ridge, Caroline, who was played by Lindsay Godfrey, had flirted with Thomas Forster, then at the time played by Pearson Foday, and Rick Forrester too. She did, you know, your typical soapy schemes, and she and Ridge really wa- weren't on each other's radar until this pivotal thing happened. Ridge um, was, do you remember when he was thrown out of the helicopter by Justin Barber on Bill Spencer's orders? So after Ridge fell, he had this brain damage and some neurological issues, and he really couldn't sketch his designs. And at that time, Caroline Spencer II was married to Rick Forrester, and she was mentoring with Ridge at Forrester Creations, and she was helping him draw things, and then they fell for each other. Rick flew into a rage, but by then she loved Ridge. She divorced Rick, and then she and Ridge made love after he had painted this really cool portrait of her. So Caroline wanted a child with Ridge, but he kind of sidestepped that and said that he didn't think he could give her one. 
realistically, he had had a vasectomy, but he didn't tell her that because he was marrying a woman who was much younger. And then she was kind of upset about that. She took these anxiety pills with some wine and Thomas Forster stopped by to see her. He did not know she was drugged. Some people like to say he took advantage while she was drugged. He did not know she was drugged. That's fact on the show. So even though she really wasn't in shape to give consent, he didn't know that. Um, And they slept together, but she went ahead and married Ridge. She rejected Thomas. And then she found out she was pregnant. And at that point, Ridge had no choice but to come clean and tell Caroline he'd had a vasectomy, but then he basically pushed and bullied her into saying the baby was his anyway because the vasectomy wasn't common knowledge. So they gave birth to her son. They did a water birth. They named the baby Douglas, and then they fought to keep the secret from Thomas, and then Ridge ended up brawling with Thomas, and then abruptly Ridge broke things off with Caroline saying she should give the baby a chance to be with Uh, with his parents. So then at that point, I believe Thomas was dating Sally Spectra and Caroline and Bill Spencer cooked up a plot to fake this illness to lure Thomas away from her. It worked, but then Caroline died of off screen of an aneurysm in March of 2019. So that's two Carolines that Ridge loved and lost and they're both dead. Do you think that either of them was Ridge's soulmate? Maybe the first Caroline, the older one? I don't know. All right, now let's talk about his next wife, Taylor Hayes. Back when he and Taylor first got involved, of course, it was played, the role was played by Hunter Tylo, and she was the woman that Ridge married after Caroline's death. He married her two years after his wife died in 19, that was in 1992, and And remember, so Taylor had come into his life because she was Caroline's doctor, and then she cared about Caroline a lot. Caroline died, and Ridge turned to Dr. Hayes for comfort, and she thought he was also hung up on Brooke, though. That's what Taylor thought. So she had kind of rejected him, and then Taylor ran off to St. Thomas, and he followed her and made his case and said, no, I really want you, and they got married. So things got really confused then because her violent, crappy ex, Blake Hayes, was around, and he brought Caroline Spencer's twin, Karen, around to torment Ridge. So there was all this messy, soapy stuff going on, and it put their marriage on and off the rocks, but they survived all that. And then Brooke turned up pregnant with Bridget, and she wasn't sure if Eric or Ridge was the dad. And at that point, then things get even soapier because Taylor was on a work trip and her plane crashed in the Mideast. And Ridge thought that Taylor died, and so he took up with Brooke and he married her. Meanwhile, Prince Omar Rashid had rescued and gotten with Taylor. That all came out, and then Taylor and Ridge ended up divorced because by then he was with Brooke. But then he later annulled things with Brooke to get back with Taylor when the truth came out that Thomas was his son, not Thorn Forrester's son, then played by Windsor Harmon. So when then Taylor got pregnant with her twins, Steffi and Phoebe, but she almost died because she had tuberculosis that couldn't be treated while she was pregnant. They were still struggling as husband and wife, and then she supposedly died again after Sheila Carter shot her, you know, as people do. But Prince Omar had saved her and stolen her again. And then there was just a whole lot of going on. There have been over the years a lot of plotting by Steffi and Thomas to try and get Taylor back with Ridge. And this has gone on for decades. There is the time with Caroline the first and Caroline the second that he broke out of this situation with Brooke and Taylor. And then right at the time, he had called it off with both of them and was actually dating Katie Logan at the time that he was shoved out of the helicopter and then wound up with the younger Carolyn Spencer. So there's just a rich history for all these characters. But, you know, do you think that Taylor is actually Ridge's soulmate? 
because he did love her. He chased her down. He married her. And then if she hadn't have been presumed dead a couple of times, maybe he would have stayed with her. I don't know. It's hard to say in hindsight. And remember, he was just about to marry Taylor Hayes this year when, or late last year, it was this year though, it all blurs, uh, when Thomas had faked that CPS call to discredit Brooke. So they were almost married again. So last, let's talk about Brooke Logan, of course, always played by Catherine Kelly Lang. Is Brooke Ridge's soulmate? This is the one that they call each other their destiny. He was married to Caroline, each of the Carolines once. He was married to Taylor twice with some vow renewals mixed in. But Brooke wins the prize for most times married to Ridge. Eight weddings, people. They they weren't all legal, but there were eight weddings. And, you know, he dated Brooke while he was in the first Caroline years. And Brooke played games and tried to ruin things for them. And then while he was dating Taylor, after the first Caroline's death... Um, he and Brooke did the deed on the lab floor. There were hidden cameras rolling. That was how they really heated up. But then he and his dad, Eric, were both betting and wedding Brooke. And there was this you know, confusion over who had fathered Bridget. It was actually Eric, but Sheila Carter messed with paternity test and said it was Ridge. And that pulled Ridge away from Taylor again. So there's just all this back and forth. And the first time that Brooke Logan got married to Ridge was actually after Taylor, quote, died in that plane crash. So Taylor had actually married him before Brooke is one important thing to know. And, you know, Brooke and Ridge have been off and on, married, divorced, annulled. There's so much there, but is it is it soulmate stuff? We're going to take one last look in just a second. But if you haven't already, reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our Bold and the Beautiful character profiles, casting news, all the good stuff you need to know. So while Ridge has been married to four women, which is Caroline the Older, Caroline the Younger, Brooke and Taylor, Brooke has been married to a lot lot of dudes. All right, let's let's look at this. She, in addition to marrying Ridge eight times, she also married Eric Forster twice, Grant Chambers, Thorne Forster, Whipple Jones III, Nick Marone, and Bill Spencer Jr. So with seven husbands and eight weddings with Ridge alone, is Brooke really destined to be Ridge's soulmate? Are they really soulmates or is she just a mistake that he keeps ma making a bunch of different times. I mean, gosh, she's had so many husbands. So how does she know? Maybe she knows from having all these husbands because she knows, okay, I've tried all these other ones and Ridge is definitely the one I liked most, you know, but it's not like Ridge has had that many wives where he has, you know, seven people worth of experience. But still, you would think by now that Ridge would know what he wants. So the big question is, who is his soulmate? We've heard a lot about he and Brooke calling each other their destiny. He and Taylor don't have a specific catchphrase like that, but a lot of people prefer them together. Who do you prefer him with? Let us know in the comments. We're excited to hear what you think. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.